in my opinion, you know, Mike wasn't all that good of a defender. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk with you guys about a clip that I found a little while ago where Rashid Wallace, who used to play for the Portland Trailblazers and the Washington Bullets, yeah, kind of was disrespecting Michael Jordan. And yeah, without telling you guys too much before we start, just do me one favor. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I would say enough of that blah, blah. Let's get right into it. Now, obviously, we're going to take a look at the clip of Rashid Waters. Now, you guys got to know that he has his own YouTube channel where he is talking with a handful of guys about his playing days back in the days and also his insights about today's NBA. And uh, yeah, every once in a while, I have a look and some episodes I actually really enjoy. And now, if you know Rashid Waters, he was always a very outspoken person and he always kept it 100. So if he says something, he is not a Gilbert Arenas a guy who is... Yeah, chasing views with outrageous stuff. Now, if he says something, then he really believes it, which I really appreciate. And there's one thing, and that's really important to me. Now, obviously, I'm just a fan. I was a professional basketball coach for, for many years, and I 100% also understand if some of you folks think, hey, what does this guy on YouTube know about basketball? Hey, I totally get it. But you also have to understand that not every former NBA player is also a great analyst and somebody who really, really understands. I don't want to say who understands the game. Obviously, they understand the game, but who really, really dives that deep into how other players perform and all that kind of stuff. So when you see an NBA player, like, for example, uh, when I take a look at some videos, I also understand that not everybody, not everybody's opinion is that valuable if that makes sense it sounds harsher than, than i actually mean it now rashid wallace was talking about michael jordan's defense saying that jordan was not that good of a defender and that to me shows that hey sorry rashid but if you really 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 would have paid attention to how jordan defends then you would know that this is bullshit and also we have to understand that just because somebody plays in the nba he does not pay attention to everybody like we also and this is pretty normal there are so many players in the league and if you play in the league yourself you can't watch all every team every player it's impossible but hey, let's take a look at the clip first, and then let's dive deep into it. In my opinion, you know, Mike wasn't all that good of a defender. Mike who? Jordan. Defensive player of the year. Man, all that, man, all that was... Ten of, I think it was 10 all defensive teams. That Michael man, Jordan? All that, all that's, you know what all that is, though. What is it? You know what all that is. Now all that's NBA shit. Yeah, we like Mike. We gonna put him up there. da 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 I'm talking about being out there. I seen this motherfucker get his ass bust where he couldn't stop a motherfucker. Yes, Mike fouled too, but no, they not going to call the shit because the rest want to eat his dick all day. Oh, no, I'm not going to call that on Mike. Mm -hmm. But down the other end, oh, you fouled Mike. Yeah, Mike. Hey, Mike, my guy, go to the line. Shoot. No, no, I, I seen Mike get his ass when? ate up before. Oh, against J.R. Ryder. Um, yeah, probably against Clyde Drexler shit. Don't forget the early Joe Dumars. You know what I'm saying? It's, it was, again, it's part of the game. Right. Nobody is perfect. We all got, you know what I'm saying, our nemesis with this game. But, no, I, I, if, if you needed a bucket, yeah. And I'm not saying that he didn't play defense. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, to me, his, his defense wasn't as high as most other cats at that time or of course they put him on a lot of defensive teams mm -hmm. because 
he might be playing weak side defense, but that's not really doing that. You playing the passing lane. So that was the first part that I wanted to show you guys. Now, the first thing that I want to say about this is, and hey, in a very respectful way, Rasheed Wallace was a great player and I really enjoyed him back in the day because he always brought 100% intensity and he was always outspoken. I like that about players. Now, if he says that Jordan was not that great of a defender, now the first thing we have to understand is no player in NBA history was perfect on defense. It's impossible. There are so many great defenders that in front of our very own eyes got beaten, got embarrassed. I mean, Gary Payton, for example, one of the greatest defenders of all time. Everybody knows that. But you guys know the clips where, for example, Jason Williams is embarrassing him and, and Jordan was cooking Peyton and there are so many players who cook Peyton. Why? Because NBA players, good NBA players are unguardable. You can contain them. You can make life tough for them. But of course, everybody's getting cooked. Scottie Pippen, everybody knows that he's one of the greatest defenders of all time. He was getting cooked by Grant Hill. There, there are multiple clips. Oh boy. That's not good. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! How That's one of the best defensive players in the NBA. So to just say that, oh, Jordan got got cooked by Isaiah Ryder and got cooked by Joe Dumars. Yes, everybody got cooked by those guys. Now the other thing that really robs me the wrong way is if you take a look at the all defensive uh, player lists. Of course you have to take help side defense into consideration. Now, I'm not blind and I'm not stupid. I know that Jordan also got his advantages with the refs. Everybody knows that who really paid attention to it. But hey, do your homework. Take a look at real games, like really watch a lot of games. Jordan was a hell of a help side defender and he was a hell, a hell of a um, on-ball defender. And if you take a look at many of those clips where you have for example a Grant Hill or you have um, I don't know a Mitch Richmond or even Joe Dumars they also speak out loud that Jordan was really giving them a hard time on the defensive end so I don't get it Rashid I really really don't get it now I know you are a guy who really says what he believes so I know you're not doing it for the clip clicks and stuff but hey, if you talk about the greatest player of all time, please have the respect and do your homework. And before you say something like that, like, for example, uh, Jordan was not great of a defender. Please take a look at the stuff. And it might it might be that you feel that Jordan got cooked by other guys. But as I mentioned before, that happened to everybody. The one thing that always not worries me, but but but. <sighs> You have to understand that there are some younger folks who are watching your show. Guys who are interested in old school NBA, but who never watched an NBA game back in the days. And they believe what they see on YouTube. If, if they see you talking about, hey, Jordan was not a great defender, they believe that stuff. They don't, make, they don't do their homework and uh, research and watch all of those games. They believe that stuff. And so, please, if you say something like that, make sure it's right. All that takes is a pump fake. You gonna bite and I can hit your man back. You don't bite though, he first team. So they say. I feel like, I mean, there's probably something definitely to his popularity helping there, but I do think. No shit. He was fucking defending though. I, I again. Like at a high, at a high level as though. As I said, I'm not saying he didn't play defense, but I don't, I don't know if, if that defense was worthy enough. Maybe they were looking at his offense being defense, getting guys in foul trouble, who's guarding him. And some people look at that as playing good defense because now you're out the game while I'm still in it. Oh, but he was getting like three steals in a block a game too. Like he was, he was getting busy for a minute defensively it, along with the, what, the 35. What changed his game was offense. What changed the game for them was offense. It wasn't a joint like shit. If, if that was the case, Look at the look at the matchup he had with Dominique Wilkins. Dominique going right back at his ass. He can't he couldn't stop Dominique with shit. Now I'm not saying Dominique was stopping him. You know? Right, I was gonna say, yeah, that's like they everybody just getting 30. <laughs> yeah. But like, nah, I don't I don't know, man. All right, you guys. Now, I know Rasheed Waters was a great player, and I know he has a lot of fans, and I know this video will be probably very, very unpopular. But hey, I'm 
also not doing uh, those videos to be popular. I'm just speaking my mind and say how I see it. And if you agree, wonderful. If you disagree, that's also totally fine. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. But if you feel that Jordan was not a great defender, hey, take a look at some real games. Watch like 10, 20 games and then make, make up your mind again. That's all I'm asking. All right. I still hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave some comments there and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.